Um, hey, Paul. Uh, nice to see you here at uh, GearFest UK. Uh, again, with a massively bright backlight behind you, so you are a bit of an <laughs> ominous I'm, shadow. I'm being, but uh, uh, I'm sort of trying to... I am trying to... Kind illuminated. Of get illuminated yes. to a degree. Yes, um, sure. So... More news on the Mantis, which is your new yeah, machine, right? Indeed. So we're on a development path. When you saw us at Superbooth, we were showing the development kit, which was the last thing that Chris Huggett made. Now I have Dr. Ben Supper with me today, and he is responsible for taking that, uh, going through all that amazing code, and turning it into something that we can really use on the production unit. So this is working today. And right. That sounds really nice. Because last time I think we had a board, and you showed me this, but this wasn't really doing anything. So this is the, that's right. And. Uh, Anything different that I should? There's, there's, no, there's the layout and everything's all the same. But just it's just working. That's oh, excellent. <laughs> that's the the main thing. That's what we want. So yeah, we're on a, a development schedule. Um, there's a bit more work to do, but um, it's in good shape. Is it making a noise today? It is making a noise. I'll just put one ear in, so I can hear. Let's get rid of my glasses a moment. So um, for those who don't remember, uh, it's kind of uh, this is a project that was started with Chris Huggett. That's right. right yeah. So it was Chris and I started on the project back um, uh, back in the day, and uh, then sadly he passed away, and Ben's inherited that. Ben worked with me on the Malevolent, and he's inherited Chris's code and is now making it marvellous. Ah, right, so, okay. so you're working on the firmware, right? I am indeed. Yeah. And also the hardware, but that's kind of done now. So it's just, yeah. I was basically the person that he bequeathed all this stuff to yeah. without realising it. Ah, okay, right. Yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, so here we go. So just, just a little sound just to show it. Very special filter. This is the best thing. There's a real doof underneath it there that I'm hearing, as well as the fizziness. I can yeah. hear a real low. Oh, yeah. Types of stuff as well. So this is a multi-mode filter yeah. going on here. Dual, dual peak as well, by the sound of things, right? That's right. So hence you've got the width control as well. And you can modulate those things as, uh, as well. So uh, what, what are the, what are the um, challenges for the code? I mean, what are you working on, Ben? Is there a kind of specific area, target? I know you're both up very late working on stuff. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I, I had the privilege of working with Chris before on the Mini Nova, so um, we were both at Novation together for a bit. Um, and he's he's incredibly good synth designer, and that comes through in everything he does, but what he's always had is somebody else to kind of finish and finesse for him. And so the output of this is, as you would expect, he's kind of hacked together a proof of concept that kind of works. It's bits of other code, and it's a question of turning it into a product, making every feature work, debugging all the all little gnarly stuff like multi-mode and things like that. that that don't really quite work because it's just a keyboard and they need to work for production. So right, OK. Slowly so, fixing that. So it's the sort of control, because this has got presets on it and di obviously digital control of analogue. There's obviously lots of uh, nooks and crannies that are, yeah. and tricks mm -hmm. to it, I'd imagine. There's that and then there's freeing up memory so we can use it for other things and more features. And, and the hardware is a different shape from the production hardware, so rewriting all the drivers and stuff. So it's just been, you know, what you'd expect. It's a development project. The one that starts with what was a fairly advanced proof of concept that already sounded great. Yeah, fantastic. So, I, I think, remind me, Paul, what was the yeah. where? Where are we uh, in terms of the schedule? Where does it go? Where, where are the? Where are we heading in terms of dates? I suppose. So, we have a few more, few more months on the firmware side, and then sound patching. I've got some nice sound designers lined up um, to do that. Because this, um, this does have memory, doesn't it? Yes. Remind so, me how many? Because that's. Uh, so you've got you've got an A and a B, and then there's a hundred for each bank, and we're going to fill half of them. So we'll leave. Bank B will be for user presets. Bank A will be full of various sound designers' sounds. Right. Okay. Yeah, so it should be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and then it's a matter of mass production and shipping. Um, so the factory's lined up, ready to go, and um, we should be they should be landing, I hope, on, in October. Right. Okay. Like so time. just in time for the pre-Christmas rush. Yeah. Excellent. So everyone go out and buy one. <laughs> That's my sales pitch. Excellent. Well, very well. I mean, that's <laughs> essentially the message of any sales pitch, really, isn't it? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> Just go and buy them, please. Oh, yeah, please buy it. It's good. Okay, brilliant. Um, uh, so, yeah. any other... Uh, is there, 
are there any other kind of last minute additions to what you found it can do with the available resources it has left i mean i guess ben might you know you thought oh we've got room to do this or that you know that you didn't expect those things do come up don't they we've had some conversations yeah. about it um I don't think we'll be specific because we haven't done that yet. Yes. So there's understand. a matter of getting it from from uh, on this back up to where Chris has had it on the development boards, and then we go beyond, yeah. fix more problems, don't we? And and then we can experiment a bit with polish, what, polish, polish. Yeah, what we can do. So we've got a couple of ideas, but we'll keep those to ourselves for now. Don't want to overpromise yourself. Yeah, I was easy yeah. to do, especially when it comes to software. I know it only too well. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, chaps. Uh, good, good luck with the project, and we look forward to seeing more of it in the future. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you. Thank you.